star of stage and television, Miss Arlene Francis. Thank you. And now, a very astute author who has had the good fortune to write an hilarious Broadway hit called Don't Drink the Water, the witty Woody Allen. Here is the Wednesday and Saturday matinee idol of the apple tree, Phyllis Newman. Thank you. It's my pleasure to introduce a man who has everything. Talent, good looks, intellectuality, and a tan from Barbados, Dennis Sir. And here's the skipper of the good ship, what's my line, that jolly old tar he is occasionally, <laughs> Captain John Charles <laughs> Daly. Well, we're the Caribbean kids. Bennett went to Barbados. I went sailing with some friends named... Augustus Newman to Nassau and then down to Montego Bay and we got chased out by storms, had 20-foot seas. <laughs> Did you have any 20-foot seas? I didn't wake up. You didn't wake up. <laughs> it's very, and I must say it's the most relaxing thing we've done in a long time and I'm going to have Bennett sent down to the Caribbean again soon. He looks good. He's in good humor. Hasn't said a mean thing to me tonight. Didn't introduce me in any way, which I have to explain for the rest of the week. And uh, Phyllis and, and Woody nice to have you here as some uh, frosting on this particular cake, beautiful Arlene. We've got some uh, very interesting occupations. We'll also have a famous mystery guest for you all a little bit later in the program, but right now let's meet our first contestant. Will you uh, sign in after you have entered, please? Mr. Valentine. Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. Ah, well, it's very nice to have you with us. Uh, Mr. Valentine, may I present our panel over here so you know them all? Now, would you come on over here and sit down with me, and we'll let the folks in the audience and those who are at home know exactly what your line is. Are you comfortable? Yes, sir. All right. Panel, we can tell you that Master Valentine is self-employed and deals in a service. And we'll begin things with uh, Arlene Francis. Well, Mr. Valentine, uh, is your work daytime work? Sometimes. Do you work out of doors? Yes. Do you have anything to do with the sports world? No, ma'am. One down and nine to go, Mr. Allen. Uh, do you have some sort of impressive position that uh, will make me ashamed of myself when we find out what it is? <laughs> well, 
You mean as an officer of a company? I or... mean, like, is he the head of the board of directors of General Motors or some really... <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we'd have to give you a note of that, would it? <laughs> Miss Newman? Uh, uh, Master Valentine, could I use your service? I In doubt a... it. Well, uh, actually... Are you uh, sure? <laughs> actually, with your permission, I would suggest that yours is a service uh, with which uh, Miss Newman might have... Uh, some association if she chose to avail herself of the service. Would I'll give agree? a kid a break, huh? <laughs> 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 All right, well then, uh, do you deal with your service after school? Sometimes? Yes, ma'am. And when you deal with your service, do you come in contact with other people? Yes, ma'am. And are these people adults as well as children? Yes, ma'am. And do they pay you, um, more than a dollar for what you do for them? Yes, ma'am. They do. Oh, well, do you do anything that would, in the broadest sense, be called performing or entertainment in any way? Yes, ma'am. Yes, you do. Do you, uh, well, then are you an entertainer of some sort? Yes, ma'am. Uh, you have a very charming and lilting voice. Do you use your voice in any way? No, no. ma'am. No, ma'am. Three yeah, down no and seven to go. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong again, yes. Like my, I have a little son who goes like this. So does mine. <laughs> Mr. Sir. Mr. Valentine, uh, does your service involve in any way either a game or music or sport? No. Four Eliminate down. Music, games, and sports. Let me ask, uh, let me ask Master Valentine a small question. Yeah. We want to be ver very fair, I'm Bennett. Sure One of the elements which you mentioned is integrated into the service as uh, it is given. So to that degree, there is an association and you proceed. Would that service that is integrated be music? Yes. In other words, the service that you perform is somehow or other involved with music. Well, we would rather say that the music, music is somehow, somehow or the other involved in the, in the process. Does of that the mean game. while you are performing the survey, service that some music is playing as background or something of that sort? Yes, sir. Uh, would the service that you perform require some kind of dexterity? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, don't you? Uh, yes, yes, he has to be dexterous. He needs some kind of prowess. Mm -hmm. Find smaller words for him. Well, is, Ever since he published that new dictionary of his, he's, <laughs> he's insupportable, impossible. Mr. Valentine, would the service that you perform possibly ever be useful in either a carnival or a circus? Yes, sir. Would you possibly be involved in some kind of a circus act? Yes, sir. Would the act involve the use of other people in the troop beside yourself? Yes, sir. Are you tossed around from one man's feet to another in some kind of a balancing trapeze, in some kind of a balancing act on the ground in the circus? No, no sir. No, good boy. Four down and six to go, Miss Preston. Well, are you ever off the ground when you're performing? Yes, ma'am. You're in the air? Yes, ma'am. Are you uh, near any high wires or trapezes when you're performing? Uh, yes, ma'am. Well, would one consider you a trapeze performer? Right. <laughs> know what he does on the trapeze. Would you tell Actually, us? Actually, Ray is a flyer. He's nine years old. You don't mind if I give all these pertinent no. data. Nine years old. He has been uh, uh, in the whole process of, of trapeze work since he was three and a half. And he's a flyer now. He does it with your, with your dad yes, and another couple. They're, they're, and who else is in your dad and another couple and yourself? Yes, sir. The four of you. There's one more. No, there's five. My mother, too. And your mom, too. And he, uh, he does somersaults and gets caught in the air. 
and at the same time carries on his education, which is one of the things I was interested in. He does it by correspondence work with the, with the school in uh, Baltimore, right? John, is this Talbot Ringling, school? Ringling, Barnum and Bailey? School? No, he was with the Pollock Circus, and uh, you're about to go out with the Shrine Circus, aren't you? Well, no, it's the Charles Gaddy Productions. Charles Gaddy Productions? <laughs> and you're going to do a tour around the country? Yes, sir. Do you, do you uh, get a big kick out of flying through the air with the greatest of these? <laughs> yes, sir. You want to make a lifetime work out of it? Yes, sir. You know, if you decided that's what your career should be? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, it's a wonderful Valentine. man. You know, how many young people of nine do all of us know who answer questions yes, sir, and no, sir, and who answer them so readily and so clearly? You know, a remarkable young man. <laughs> No, I was, I was going to say, Master Valentine, to tell your mother and dad that we've very much enjoyed having you with, and they can be very proud of you as a son, but I rather imagine your mother and dad are watching tonight. Thank you for being our guest. It's been very nice to have you with us. <laughs> we'll have another contestant for you in just a moment. After this word, now to meet another contestant, will you enter and sign in, please? Betty Keel, right, ma'am? All right. Uh, is it Miss or Mrs. Keel? Miss. Mrs. Keel, where are you from? Atchison, Kansas. Atchison, Kansas, yes. which is near which, what big city? Kansas City. Kansas City, yes. fine. Mrs. Keel, may I present the panel? Yes. And now will you join me over here and uh, we'll let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. Panel, we'll tell you that Mrs. Keel is self-employed and deals in a product. And let's begin uh, the general questioning with Bennett, sir. Mrs. Keel, is this a product that could be used by all the distinguished members of this panel? <laughs> yes. It could be under certain circumstances. It could be used by both males and females. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, what's funny about that? Does this mean that sometimes it is used uh, for or by animals? Yes. Or were there animals involved in the service that you in the product that you produce? Yes. Does well, we'll mean, say the animals have a relationship to the product. I don't does that mean that the product is used by animals? Yes. Is it used uh, by animals internally? Is it consumed by animals? Yes. Oh, oh as we say. As Sherlock Holmes used to say, ho, ho. <laughs> uh, is this uh, a solid, Mrs. Keel? Yes. Is it eaten by four-legged animals? Yes. Is it eaten by farm animals? Yes. Is it some kind of fodder, as in life with fodder? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> that is, is a Barbados. <laughs> Is it some kind of food that is eaten by four-legged animals? Yes. Uh, would, it eaten by, would it be eaten by horses? Yes. Is it eaten by horses? Yes. <laughs> is it some kind of oats or hay or something like that? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, not being an expert on anything more than that, I will hereby pass to Arlene, the famous <laughs> farm expert. <laughs> I'm no more familiar with horses than you are, Bennett. <laughs> but I don't understand how far we have to go. We have to find out what... Well, Bennett Mrs. said, is Neal. it, is it uh, oats or so-and-so or, so or something okay. like that? Now, obviously, we need to go beyond it. But it is definitely horse food. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I mean, well, as opposed to cat food. Well, I would think as opposed to cat food, yes, it's horse food. I see. Do horses eat it <laughs> regularly if they're lucky? <laughs> If they're winners, they eat it regularly. <laughs> uh, well, is it fodder, as he said? Well, I... Bennett. 
<laughs> well, I guess it would come problem. under the general head of fodder, wouldn't it? I mean, fodder co covers quite a bit of ground. As you know, he's in traveling salesman. I've not eaten uh, any myself, so I don't know exactly what it's composed of. But if it's oats and hay... No, Ben, you see, the question Bennett asked was very broad. Is it ho oats or hay or something like that? Well, now, needless to say, horses eat a great many things. Caviar, yes. duck under glass, you know. <laughs> so you have, you have to come closer than that. That's the only I point see. we're making. Well, is this product that you deal with, that a horse eats, oats? No. No. That one dollar. <laughs> I'm going to dump him in lots. That's five dollars, five to go, Woody. Uh, uh, this is just not a question, but does, does that mean automatically, does that make it hay? I mean, uh, you know, I, I don't want to get a question on this. <laughs> I want to back into it. Nothing is automatic. I see. So you expect me to ask if it's hay or not? Well, you can. I mean, this is a hazard of life, so to speak. <laughs> There are other things, you know, as there, there I mentioned, things, caviar, yeah. duck under glass, all Well, well is it uh, a luxury item for pampered horses? Is it a luxury item? No. Oh, no, we couldn't call it a luxury item. That's seven out of three to go, Miss Newman. Well, I mean, it's too silly. I mean, I'll <laughs> say it. <laughs> is it A? Yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. That's absolutely right. Mrs. Keel is, runs the business, actually, Keel and Son which her good husband founded, and she buys and sells hay. Lots of hay. Didn't I say that? No, you said, is it oats, hay, or something like that? And we said, yes. At which point you quit. <laughs> that was not the question. It to me, and I was no and help. Gave it to Arlene, and it's Martin who would have known immediately that it was hay, but Martin's not here tonight, That's you true. see. But we, none of us on the panel would have eaten it. We, I said, under certain circumstances, you what could use this, you could own a horse, oh, or a pony, yes. or a cow, Mrs. King, or a goat. Do you, oh, you, you ever hear with a horse who ate nothing but donuts? He was known as a horse of a different color. <laughs> we had a Tilton school meeting in Washington this week, and, you know, I asked for questions from the floor at this alumni meeting, and the first question was, do you think it's possible that Bennett Surf has any worse puns? And you just proved you did, and I said you did, too. <laughs> well, Mrs. Key, we did pretty well, considering that Bennett made such a good start. Hope you've enjoyed it. It's nice to have you with us and what's my line. Thank you. <laughs> we'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first, this message. And now the special feature of the program to which we've all become very used so much so that the panel knows it has to be blindfolded, the appearance of our mystery challenger. The blindfolds are all in place, panel. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Will you enter mystery challenger and sign in, please? panel, as you know, a different form of questioning. One question at a time, in turn moving clockwise, and we'll begin things with Phyllis Newman. Uh, everybody's laughing. I don't know whether there are a lot of you or uh, I, 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 more than one. <laughs> What's the matter? Yes. A lot of people there? What is a lot? More than one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you. Mr. Sir. Uh, does this mean there, there are two people? Yeah. Miss Francis. Well, the pr applause was so prolonged, could it be more than two people? No! <laughs> One down and nine to go, Woody Allen. Um, are you, uh, do you do something in the nature of, uh, vaudeville performing? Something in the nature of? This is... You know, like these two people come out. <laughs> Yes. Miss Newman. Uh, are you a, a, a husband and wife team? No. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Sir. May I gather that you are two gentlemen? Well. <laughs> two men. 
<laughs> Possibly. Possibly. Miss Francis. Well, now, are you, uh, you're, are you stand-up comedians? Not now. <laughs> <laughs> Why, well, we would have to agree they stand up a good deal of the time, wouldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> when we're sober. <laughs> Mr. Allen? Um, are you urbane, sophisticated wits? <laughs> <laughs> Seven down and three to go. <laughs> is 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 one? I can't talk tonight. <laughs> I know. <laughs> is one short and fuzzy and the other tall and handsome? <laughs> yes. I, I mean, short, fuzzy, and handsome, and the other one tall. Yeah. Now you're in good stead. Sort of. Yeah. Uh, are you Alan and Rossi? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That was great, Marty's Martin. father, Woody Allen, there. Yeah. <laughs> Be on the same show. By the way, uh, Woody, I saw uh, Don't Drink the Water. It was marvelous. Oh, thank you. Just That's funny. I thought they were the Smothers Brothers for a minute. <laughs> We've been taking... The funniest thing happened, that we, they took us around the back in the alley, and there's a, there must have been... Uh, there was a woman waiting uh, probably to probably sign autographs, and she let out a scream. I said, oh, excited? She says, That's the first time I ever saw a Brillo pad walking. <laughs> I like the hat, Woody. Where'd you get that uh, hat? I, it's flattering. Also one of the, uh, you know, I was, thought maybe if I disguised myself, you wouldn't like it. <laughs> it's like it's stolen from a rabbi. <laughs> yeah, reformed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. But these two nuts are going to open tomorrow in the Royal Box, and New York City will be a much, much more of a fun city than it is usually. The Royal Box is at the Americana. Yeah, I'd yeah. like to see these are, these are wonder, wonderful, wonderful folks. It's all a pleasure. You know, I was just errant things come tracing back into the mind. I read a piece not too long ago. Actually, you two started working together because Nat King Cole suggested yes, it. it was, right? uh, it's approximately eight years as of now that uh, was made possible through the late, great Nat Cole that we were brought together. As Steve was a production singer at the Sands Hotel, and I'd worked with Nat on numerous occasions on concerts, and we were very good friends. You were on the cleaning staff? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you might say that. I helped pick out a lot of his hits. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Steve happened to remark to him that he was tired of just being a production singer, working with 25 of the most beautiful showgirls. I wanted 35. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's his whole life. And so uh, he, he, got, he told Matt he liked James. to do an act. <laughs> yeah. He liked to do an act. <laughs> Shirley Temple. <laughs> you better laugh at me. I pay your bills. All right. <laughs> and that's how it actually started. Well, well, it was a great thing that it happened. I've mm -hmm. seen them as I know Bennett and Arlene, and I guess Woody and Phyllis, you have two of the banshees, especially when the editors are in town. And they stand oh, I love up to do that. Music. And well, they just fall out of their chairs. <laughs> Thank you. You want Because they, they've got kind. the great talent for topical humor, which is great. Thank you. Wonderful to have Pleasure. you both with us, and thanks very much for coming. Thanks, and Martin. lots of luck for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good day. Good day. Well, you've been brilliant tonight, panel. I congratulate you. We'll all be back after this word. Woody, Phyllis, wonderful to have you back with us. And as always, it's a joy to say, hello, Arlene Francis. Good night. Oh, that's nice, John. Hello, dear. And goodbye, Woody. And continued success with Don't Drink the Water. Thank you. Good night, Phyllis. Good night, Woody. Good night, Dennis. I'd like to say this. Valentine kid's parents should be thanked for bringing up a boy the way an American boy should be brought up. Do you think so, John? I agree with you 100%. Good night, John. He just was a wonderful, wonderful youngster. Next week with us on the panel, Tony Randall. We hope you'll join us. And for tonight, thanks for being with us on What's My Line.